Hey guys, it's David here, and I'm just going to address the fact that I am home in Cleveland, and all the things in the background are from my high school past. Just ignore them as best you can. Uh, we have more important things to focus on, because Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett released their rendition of Anything Goes as a first single for their jazz album, so uh, I'm just going to get right into reviewing it. So this Lady Gaga jazz album, my friend Brad put it very well on his website, Mew Muse. He called it the Lady Gaga jazz album that nobody asked for. Um, I might have. I remember when I saw her uh, sing Orange Colored Sky at her little Christmas event, and then when she again sang Someone to Watch Over Me. She sung jazz standards in the past, and I always liked her voice singing jazz standards, so I am personally excited about this, but I'm aware that the masses have not been asking or waiting for a Gaga jazz album anytime soon. Still, this two-minute single didn't disappoint. I, her vocals sound great. Tony, as always, I've been a fan of his duets since his first duets album because I am a weirdo, but I think that they both sound lovely together and it's cute. There was also a video that came out with the song, but not really much happens. You just see a lot of shots of Gaga in different outfits in the studio and Tony Bennett in the same outfit in the studio. Um, uh, and like shots of them on stage, her in different weaves. It's fine, but it's not by any means an actual music video. Overall, the song is pleasant. I like it. I actually wish that it were longer. That's basically my only real complaint is that two minutes is really short for a what they're calling a single off of this album, I guess. Especially with jazz music, because that's not like, it doesn't hit you in two minutes and it's just like, bam, it's more of like a, let's settle in. And you know, I don't know if this is the right choice for a single off of a jazz album. I don't know if this is the right choice for Gaga to make at this point in her career, but I'm Honestly, all I can say is I will definitely enjoy the music that's produced from this album. I've always been obsessed with Gaga singing jazz. I love Tony Bennett. I love all of these standard songs. Like, I won't have any complaints and I will probably listen to this album on repeat. However, if that's not most of the Little Monsters' preference, if they don't have a hankering for jazz music, I don't think I would be entirely surprised. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. I hope that this album does well just for the sake of Gaga's happiness and continued success as an artist because I like and support her, but uh, we'll just have to see. Anyway, let me know if you heard the new single or if you haven't, check it out and let me know your thoughts. If you agree with stuff I said, if you completely disagree, just make sure to leave it in the comments below. And I also reviewed two other things today. There was a lot of stuff that came out. Uh, I reviewed Bang Bang, the new single with Jesse J, Ariana Grande, and Nicki Minaj. That is in the down bar. And I also reviewed Hilary Duff's Chasing the Sun, which is a new music video that came out. Not sure if you heard of it, but uh, I will link my review of that down below as well. And uh, just for fun, I'm going to link my Art Pop full album review. It's from a while back, but I went right through all of Gaga's Art Pop. It's like a very detailed review. So uh, if you're a Gaga fan and you want to hear me talk about that, check that out below as well. And other than that, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Okay, bye!